Tiger sharks grow to 16 feet and are deadly. With powerful jaws and ferocious appetites, they'll eat anything. The tiger shark, when they come and bite, they don't let go. When they grab a turtle, but they just hang on that turtle and they bite down on it and they shake it. So you really don't want to get bit by a tiger shark. You're either going to drown or you're going to lose a limb because they're not going to let go. Dr. Gruber is betting that tiger sharks will also return to their place of birth. But they're a lot harder to tag than lemon sharks. So he's calling in a favor. I'll do what you need me to do. OK, let's go. Michael is going to help him catch a tiger. Dr. Gruber's team have spent hours baiting the area. Right there. And something's been hooked. There's a shark right there. We need to put the one person on the bow. No, wrong side, wrong side. I don't pull him, let him loose. There we go. One person over there. We're taking water. Ready to roll. You want to come to? You want to come on my side? Yeah. All right, hold him. All right, he's tagged. Bring it. Bring it to she. It's a she. It's a she. We need a genetic sample, and we're ready. Okay. Measure inside of thirty. Tiger shark. This, what we did here, was magnificent. I can't believe we got this done just like that. That's never been done before. It's a huge success, and it's given Michael an idea. If he can tag some juvenile white sharks, he'll be able to further his research into natal homing. When we know that, it makes it that much easier to protect them as a species. Over the last few months, more evidence has emerged of young sharks in the Los Angeles waters. A juvenile captured on amateur video right next to paddle boards. And this startling image of a juvenile freight white stalking the Santa Monica shoreline. It's confirmation that Michael's hunch is correct. That gill could be returning to Santa Monica Bay in less than five months to pop.